Well, time was of the essence as one family faced the rising floodwaters of Helene and was able to make it to the other side of the river through quick thinking and sheer bravery. News 13's Nisha Pettyholm has their story. It was early Friday morning when Helene ripped through our area. Carrie, who actually not show her face on camera, said she and her family were moving debris and trees off their property. It was then the floodwaters from Gap Creek and Fairview began rising rapidly, leaving Carrie and her boyfriend with no choice. The water was just getting deeper and deeper, so then we decided, okay, everybody's got to get out of the house. It's, we got to get them up to the, you know, to the neighbor. With no time to waste, they began to act quickly. I had went to my neighbors and was like, hey, we're going to bring the kids up here. Is that, is that good? Like, like, so they knew the kids were coming. And so when I was walking back down the driveway, like at that curve, I had um, like made it about halfway to the kids. And that's when I guess the water was too strong. So it knocked me over and I kind of floated back to that truck. And in the midst of attempting to leave, the waves caught her daughter nearly drifting away as the water rose. And with two other kids in her boyfriend's arms, he was forced to improvise to save her. So he put them in the tree. He's like, okay, I gotta get to her faster. And he knew he couldn't get to them fa her fast. So he put them in the tree and then he like was getting back to them. And it was just too strong. He knew if he carried them, he would fall in that strong water. So. The daughter was able to get safely out of the rushing waters, but there was still a race against time as there were still two kids in the tree. Realizing the urgency of the situation, that's when they got help from their next door neighbor. He was able to get the rope to the tree and tie it around the tree, and he put them on his back and walked them back to over here, which is where somebody came from the road with a John boat and put them in the boat. Our legs were beat up because there was so many things floating in the water. Um, and so like his legs were like completely scabbed up, like, like bleeding and just, just awful, just from things hitting him trying to get, you know, to the kids. And as the rain inundated the area, the family's home was swept away by the relentless floodwaters. So it is probably uh, maybe about an eighth of a mile to a quarter of a mile down that way. So um, it kind of made a trail behind everybody's yard. So it's not in that field, not in that field, not in that person's yard, but like over through those like big trees. I'm not even really sure how it did it. And with nothing left to salvage, Carrie says she remains strong as she reflects on what truly matters. You know, we lost all of our things, but we didn't lose us. In Fletcher, I'm Nija Pettyholm, News 13.